All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Welcome back to Devlogs. This is Devlog number 18, which I am resizing and fixing a lot of the Monster Girls that aren't supposed to be fitting in small. <laughs> For example, uh, Taiju and Slime Girl, well, S Slime Queen, for some reason look very awkward or looked very awkward before I got to it and they weren't like size right so this is me just going in you know making some layouts so future like bigger monster girls can actually fit into the game um I should move over to this side shouldn't I <laughs> yeah I should move over here this is actually make this a lot easier to see but yeah for a lot of this, I had to start testing size and seeing like what what layout I could actually put them all in to where they all fit. So I ended up making two layouts, one for the smaller ones or medium sized ones, and one for the large ones like Taiju and Slime Queen. So basically looking at these layout this layout didn't actually work out because she actually still looked very weird inside of the game and as you guys can see the little sword is cut out at the bottom of the log I can't really guys show you guys my cursor because I'm using polypop now instead of set up a uh, stream labs and that uh that well actually no I guess I can I think there's a way I can do this Where is VLC? Is VLC trackable? Is it this? Okay, yeah. You guys can see my mouse now. So that, that actually helped out. <laughs> Polypop doesn't let me capture a mouse when I'm on screen mode. So I'm capturing it through uh, the actual window itself. If I'm on desktop mode, that's what I should say. Yeah, she looked very off like this. So I decided to make it like a little bit larger and have her like a little bit more focused on. A lot of the most girls are gonna end up like that apparently. <laughs> Through my thought process, it looks a lot better towards the end. And I will change like how sharp this is. This is how sh we're gonna have her look she looks a lot better like this than having her like, you know, slightly more taller that we had. Yeah. Like this kind of looks fine. I probably could have shrink this too. But for some reason I like I like it better to have it zoomed in to see a little bit more detail on that. Just seem better. Now I'm going in between everything, seeing what size right, seeing what size I want to keep for the smaller and bigger and bigger uh, layouts. So for this, I renamed this and had this for large monster girls for the layout of this, so I can put in any large monster girl in here and actually have them size to, to her. So now we're going to use that same concept for Taiju. For her back, back sprite. Then we're going to drag her in here. I haven't looked up any videos of this stuff yet. This is just like common sense and showing that I'm actually learning how to use Unity very well, especially towards like images as well. I've always, I've always had Photoshop experience. I just barely use it as of now. <laughs> so 
So this is just pretty much me going off of like the tutorials I was following and doing my own thing and fixing everything. Uh, this video was originally an hour long, to be honest. Before I started recording, it could have been like an hour and 30 or 40 or up to two hours because I was actually like rebalancing a lot of the monster girls, making sure they weren't like, you know, completely always one shotting something <laughs> unless it was like super effective or, you know, not very effective stuff like that. And I was also fixing a little bit of my coding as well. Anything that was like misspelled, like critical. <laughs> critical was misspelled, it was missing another C. So yeah, I am actually taking in all the things that I am learning as I'm doing this. Towards the end, I started fixing like the size and everything and it just starts like actually looking like they belong in the game <laughs> as of right now every image looks a little bit too sharp and that gets fixed and here's where i start keeping some sizes now i have to resize slime princess Also, I have to do this for the front sprites as well. Because then the front sprites for uh, Taiju and both Slime. Yeah, both Slime Queen and Taiju started to look off when it came to like putting them into the project. Which you'll see later after I'm done with the back sprites. So, Slime Queen. Well, Slime Princess actually looks very great now. She looks very good now i have to change tigura and taima because their images are now no longer fitting inside of the image that i stretched at first it's actually funny because taima actually looked very off facing an opponent but now that i did this she actually looks like very more well implemented which I don't have to go back and you know have her redesigned for the back sprite I always like Tigora's like back <laughs> back sprite looks very epic now I actually like Taima's back sprite a lot more too So after fixing everything and having the right sprites that I want, I delete, you know, pretty much the old ones that are in the game. And this is where I started, uh, yeah, this is why I started to realize that they look very off in game now, size wise. We actually make this look a lot better. Yeah, the images look great now, but once I start resizing everything, it's, it starts to be a little bit weird to where a point that uh, 512 no longer fits. Oh God, wait, what happened to my model? Oh, I think, <laughs> God damn it, if YouTube studio it just froze. I just realized, I just looked over and I was just sitting there like, wait a minute, what happened? It's like some settings that I don't know what's going on with YouTube Studio. It's also freezing and crap, having a good deal with that. It's weird.
happened when I was streaming yesterday too. A lot of issues happened when I was streaming. But anyway. But yeah, it, have, it got to the point to where I can no longer use uh, 512 because it started to look a lot low quality. So I had to change that once I, you know, kind of changed them. They're also facing the wrong direction as well. So I ended up fixing that as that too. Just because I had rotation set to 200 at first because I think of timers. Yeah, I think no, I was just too lazy to actually like go into <laughs> go into uh, Photoshop and turn everything around. So I was just like, yeah, screw it, might as well rotate it. But now that I actually rotated everything in Photoshop, it's it's kind of like I have to fix it now. Start changing around the, a little bit of the UI as well. Like I move this UI a little bit further down here. Then I started to use the uh, the other out, well, yeah, the large monster girls uh, layout just to see how it works <laughs> or how it looks and how it works if I was to do the front images with this. See if it made it a lot more simpler. So I started resizing everything based off of this. I also had to change uh, where name was. You guys probably saw that earlier. Just because for some reason the slime princess name started getting way too long. Started touching the here. Now I have a lot more room for the names. Forgot I resized this as well. I also got to change this and bring this up a little bit more too. Now that I realize it. Cause I never changed that. Yeah, you guys just saw that the art went very off here. Once I changed it to like 512 now, now the images have been resized. So yeah, it looks a lot more blurred now. So automatically 1024 became a lot better than 512. Which I like because it looks a lot sharper. Right now I'm going for like, you know, Similar to like old Pokemon, a Pokemon like, you know, Emerald. We're not going for like any of the extremely fancy animations right now. As of right now, we'll move on for that like way, way down the road. As I'm getting experience for this. So I don't, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to implement like battle effects and stuff like that just yet. Maybe down the road. Because I don't think even the uh, game dev experiment has covered that yet. Just 
because I think that's going to be the longest part is like putting animations on certain skills. Now she looks a lot better. I actually do like something very interesting to myself. Like I kind of think outside the box when I'm outside the box when I'm using like Photoshop most of the time. She's too big. So I resized her and I kept this formula for like how, yeah, I started searching for the line, the line tool. So I keep a line to see how how much in I'm going to have to keep the monster girls. You know, how high the heights. Yes, that, that's what I was looking for, the heights. <laughs> so now I got to make these lines actually a lot more visible, which takes a while. <laughs> I didn't put it on times five speed because then I wouldn't be able to keep up with what I'm doing because I can't see my mouse cursor and you guys can't see it either. <laughs> so it's like, it's only like three times speed. I should have just copied this and pasted it again or duplicated it, but I do that later instead of trying to try, trying to like struggle and make another line. It's been a long time since I've had the need of using Photoshop since I don't really make too many thumbnails anymore or have the time to make them is what I should be saying I think around here I give up on that and delete this and actually like duplicate it because I just remembered that I can't do that <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> So now I can keep them in the size of a box. I'm trying to combine these layers so I can just, there you go. So I can just take them off all at once. So now we can see if she looks better. Okay, yeah, she looks better in this size. Now I gotta do the same thing for Slime Princess. The third Monster Girl is actually in the works at the moment. The third and final starter. She will probably be done around the end of December or the start of January. And I'll show you guys her first form for her. And as the second and, and third form are being finished, I'm going to keep you guys in the dark until she's like ready. And I'll upload a all of all form video for her. Then as we go on from there, I'll keep a lot of the other Monster Girls kind of a secret. Just so I won't spoil like too much. But by then I'll probably have a Discord and a Patreon up for people to see those early if they want to. I think I flipped this just to see how it looked. Then I realized that I still had rotation on. <laughs> As you guys can see right here, I still have rotation on. I should be changing that to a zero real soon. Rotation on Y is basically a flip. Yeah, I changed it to where all the enemies are facing towards them instead of facing this way. Some, some like monster girls like Slime Princess look all right when they're facing, you know, towards the right. And even the Slime Queen looks like she's all right when she's facing towards the right. But for some reason, I just felt like it would be a lot better if we just, you know, had them all facing left. 
Taiju looks fine when she's doing it as well. Uh, the only reason that I thought about this was just because I saw a slime girl facing towards, you know, the right. <laughs> this is where I'm blending in all of, uh, well, fixing all the sizes. Right after I flipped everybody around, now I have to go remake uh, Taima. Have her flipped around again. Now Slime Queen's pointing her sword at you, which looks a lot better in my opinion. And Slime Princess looks a lot better facing this way. Now I'm basically changing everything to 10 to 1024. I'm also changing it for the back sprites too, so they look a lot more, you know, into the game. Now I have to go in and fix all my Monster Girl sprites. So the game can actually recognize like which images are which. And that's pretty much it. So yeah. With that, all the images are resized and sized right, quality changed, and fits a lot better in the game. Oh boy. <laughs> and now they're all rebalanced and the slime girl has like all of her stats. Slime princess have all of her stats and slime queen has all of hers as well, along with Taiju which I didn't actually add into the game to now. So Taiju has all of her stats now too. So with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.